Boom. What's up, everybody? What's up, boys and girls? Today I'm gonna be sh today I'm gonna be showing you a tutorial or a tutorial on how to like beat and play Minecraft correctly. So let's get started with this. So the first thing you want to do is if you say you spawn right here. Oh wait, I have subtitles on. All right, so uh, I can just do. Is it does it do? Will the subtitles bother you? Uh, that's fine. All right, so the first thing you want to do is mine a tree. So if you can find a tree, then you mine it. You mine using the left side of your mouse, and you hold it down until the tree explodes, and like that, like that. And then you probably, and then you probably want to mine the entire tree for more wood. I've done a lot of videos on like not like this, but like when I pretended to be a noob. And if you're like me in that video, uh, you can just, this is how you play. And then you want to press E to go to your inventory. And then you want to take your oak log, left click it. Then you want to drag it to your crafting thingy. And then you left click again in that. Anywhere you can do it, anywhere you want. You can do it anywhere you want. Just don't do that. Don't click on that. That's oak wood. And then you want to get your oak planks. And then you want to put one in each of them. You actually, when you do that, you want to, you would want to right click because that. then you get a crafting table. Then you want to right click, right click it again. And then pro you can make some sticks. Just, and you can, all right, two planks will give you four. So I guess that's good. And then, and then you can craft a wooden, Pickaxe. Here we go. Wait, one second. And then, but if any, if any chance you want to craft a sword, and then you might want to craft a wooden sword too. Then you want to break your crafting table. Same method. That's how you make blocks. And then you want to find any nearby animals. Then you want to use your wooden sword and jump and left click. You don't have to jump. But jumping is how you crit stuff, so get back here. Okay, come on. Can't. There we go. So there. Now you got raw beef. Now with the wooden pickaxe, you want to mine down. Just only a couple blocks. And then you want to... And then you want to mine stone with that. Alright, so you want to get as much stone as possible stuff you want to you want to get a lot of, you want to at least get no wait let me calculate all right so you're gonna want to at least get 16 blocks of cobbles there of course, it has to be my nighttime of the tutorial. Um, wait. We're not ready for nighttime yet, so we're just gonna run a command. So that's it. <coughs> Alright, then, with your cobblestone, you want to put it in, on, fill the entire thing, and just leave this block out, and you want to click your furnace. Then you want to make a pickaxe. Okay, wait. Hold on. I don't have enough sticks. Just craft more sticks if you don't have enough, and then you're gonna want to bring your. Then you're gonna want to do the same method as you made it with the wooden pickaxe, but a stone pickaxe. And while you're at it, you can put your a stick down here, and then make a better sword that does more attack damage than your wooden one. And then by any chance if you want to craft an axe, here's the crafting recipe. So there. Now we have almost a full set. Is yeah. And then you want you can use your stone axe to make the mining crafting table easier. Go 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 go. Okay. So by all right, wait. All right, you you can just you can just skip this, please skip this. Oh. I'm gonna try. So and then if you happen to or don't. Don't see how I went in creative. Since you're in survival, you won't be able to do that. Just say, don't do what I did. Alright. And then, if you happen to stumble across a cave, 
you can go down there, so we go just... And then by any chance, if you find this weird block, that's coal ore, and you can mine it with your stone pickaxe. Pause by any time if you have trouble, like, not keeping up with me. But you can pause at any time. <clears throat> Alright, so this ore is actually pretty useless. It's called copper ore. And you don't really need it for anything. Alright, so this is anisite. It's not useful for anything either. And, uh, wait. I just skip through this. This is part of the tutorial. I hadn't said anything after the tutorial. I'm sorry, forever sorry. And then if you happen to cross to come some iron ore, this is iron ore actually, you can mine it. You'll get this raw iron. Now you want to mine as much iron as possible. All right, now you use the furnace that you crafted before Right click it, place that, oh wait. Then you wanna put it in your coal. If by any chance I was shift clicking, so you can just left click and do that. And then you can just, so I'll just keep left. And then it will automatically smell, you don't have to do anything. Now the process does take a little, does take a, like, a little time. But one that arrow feels completely white, it resets, but you got iron in it. And then when all this iron is done smelting, we can just like get onto it. Also, for when you take it, you'll see this little XP bar thing. Yeah, you know, like the little XP. That's that's XP. So that's XP that you can use and, and stuff. Also, yeah, the fire does burn down, so you'll lose a piece of coal. But don't worry. If you have, if you find multiple coal, you can do it. And also, don't smelt the raw copper. You can smelt raw copper, and then and you can take out the then you'll take out the coal miner furnace. Sorry, skip through this, please. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I didn't want to do this, but I'm sorry. I don't know how to edit. I'm sorry. So then, if you happen to stumble across this thing, this is called a village. Now, it's a very good source of food. Oh, okay. It's treat in the way we just do that. And then the villagers are don't are just like, and then there's people. The people live here, but don't worry, you don't. They don't. They don't care. They are the dumbest mob in this game. They don't know, really know about anything. And then if you find a stupid, can I please go? I want to go. I'm gonna mine this down. This tree. Mining down this entire tree. There, so, and then if you happen to find this, this is called a bookshelf. Now bookshelf, you can mine it and get books. That for when you get five diamonds, you can use, and when you got diamonds, you can use to get an enchantment table and then you can get good enchants. I mean, we'll focus on it more than later. Anyway, once you get books, you can just save that for later. Now, anyway, there could be a thing. There's actually, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Wait, why am I creative? Wait, okay. There may be a thing that you might find looking like this. This is actually called a blacksmith. Now, there's actually five different types of villages. This is a tiger one, and villages like this will... Then if you find a chest... These are some of the, this is the best chest in the village. It can contain a lot of good stuff like this. These are iron, this is iron armor. Now you'll get, and then you can go to your inventory. Press E to go to inventory, don't forget that. And then left click and you'll wear it. That will give you some armor protection. Right here, oh, the, the achievement blocks it. And then this, this is obsidian. You need to craft a portal, but we don't have enough. This is gold. It can be used to make, this is one of the worst things because it's bad with making swords and pickaxes, so don't do that. But when we head to the nether, that's where gold gets useful. We'll just put all our junk in there. Let's go. All right, 
so. Wait. And now, what if you happen to stumble? Oh my god, I keep putting my face in the way. That's so annoying. Sorry, don't do this. Don't write anything. I don't. There's some stuff I don't want you to copy, okay? Hello? I keep putting my face in the way. Oh god. And yes, there's fall damage in Minecraft, so if I fell down there, I would have been dead. Or I can live on that many hearts. Alright, we found. There's more iron that we can collect and like, get stuff. I remember, if I remember, if I have any trouble like doing stuff, like if I if I'm too, like, you can always pause the video. Now, as you see, there we. This is a zombie, but if you use, if you wait, zombie, wait. I'm trying to make a tutorial. You can use a stone sword to kill it. And but as you, but if you realize, in draw edition only, it's the, an axe will do 9 attack damage, but it's not a good weapon. Because since 1.14, if you hit, you'll see that little bar right there. And if you spam click and the bar's not finished yet, it doesn't do a lot of damage. That's only been since 1.14, but it's not 1.14, so we don't have to worry about that. There's no obvious, alright. But, oh my god. Now we can craft a bucket. A bucket can be useful for when we're heading to the nether. Why is there just like a random? Oh, wait, up. Don't do any. When I go to chat and write stuff down, don't copy any of it in your survival worlds, okay? Please don't. This video has made us how to beat Minecraft, not how to cheat. So, uh, th as you see, this is Netherrack. Netherrack. It's a funny name, I know, right? And now, if you, like, climb up here. Oh! I'm dead. As you see, we just died to lava. Not to my calculation, but we'll just... We'll just skip on. So, as you know, I went creative. Don't copy any of this. So, if you happen to... Wait... Don't do anything that I do, okay? When not, like, do stuff that I do, just, like, not the commands or whatever. I, when I write something in chat, don't copy it, all right? That's all I'm asking, please don't. I don't want you guys to cheat in Minecraft. I don't want you guys to cheat. Oh, there might be a chance you might encounter this. And, uh, as you know, this one sucks. But we'll just, I, okay. But, all right, and then you'll find, there might be, a, there's all different types of stuff. Uh, this is called an abandoned nether portal. It has, it, this is, there's more ways you can get to the nether without it. But as you see, there's a chest and it has good stuff in it. This is obviously not good. All right, now we're going to go to the nether. Now we can, this is how, I'm going to build a portal for all of you out there. I'm building a portal. All right, so this is abandoned nether portal. So not an abandoned nether portal, a normal nether portal. And the only way, this obviously will not work because like, yeah, you have to, this part is where it should be light, like all this entire thing. And uh, you'll need something called a, and you'll need a, and you'll need a fire attack basically. This is called a fire charger. If this can light the portal, so you want to, so you want to, you don't want to let, you want to right click in the middle of the portal, and there you go. You can also use something like a flint and steel, but oh, let's go. Alright, so this is my spawn. This is a bad spawn. This, see all this soul sand? Wait, wait, this is soul, see all this soul soil, and, where is the, where, and, and the soul sand, 
Yeah, this is this is a sign that you might have spawned in a Soul Sand Valley. Now, a Soul Sand Valley, it's not bad, but there's a lower chance that a structure called a Nether Fortress will be here. And I'm in creative, uh, nothing's gonna attack me. But there's something, but like a uh, stuff like a fossil can spawn here, like a fossil, some like stuff a like a fossil. A fossil can spawn here. This is a, yeah, that's a fossil. And you might start playing in 1.20. Like when it, when it, like you're. But this is so. And this is how to play Minecraft in 1.19. All right, and then you were just going to look around. You're gonna want to keep looking around until you find. Remember, I just want to tell you one more time. Whenever I go into chat and start writing stuff, do not copy any of it. So you want to keep exploring the nether until you finally find a nether fortress. Now, if the nether fortresses have a room like this called a blaze spawner. And then if you go to one of those like abandoned nether portals. And they have the golden sword. I don't know. And it has... Wait. And it happens to have looting three on it. Then, if you you can kill these blazes, that will set you on fire. You're, they're they're obviously not easy to face. They'll set you on fire, and they will do damage to you if you get close to them. So see, they damage me, and they, if they burn like that, that means they angle you, and it'll set you on fire. Now I'm just gonna kill them in creative, and I'll. Wait, let's get a normal sword. And now, if you don't have a looting three, so looting three will increase the drop rate, giving you a lot of chances of getting blaze rod. But then this gold sword, oh no, my gold sword broke. Yeah, items can break in Minecraft, and there, and a gold sword will be very easy. So if you have a spare sword, use that to kill the blazes. And you want to keep killing them until you have seven or eight. There now I have seven, and then there's and then you'll need another object called an Ender Pearl. Like that's an Ender Pearl. Now there's two ways you can get these. One, you know you have found gold. If you found gold somewhere, you can trade it with something called a piglin. This is what these guys look like. And then you can right click it, and then they'll trade with you. Now the chances of them, I don't wait. Hold on, wait, give me a second. I'm sorry, wait, I just have to look up something real quick. Yes, I know, I have to look up something in the middle. Okay. I emptied a chest worth of gold into a pit full of piglins and put what I got into these chests. Here are the results. All right, I just I looked up a bunch of tutorials. Nothing happened. All right, so. I'm just going to make it up. Alright, so the chances of a... Boy, wait, where did the big one go? Big one? Where are you, bruh? Big one? I'll just summon in one. I'm in creative, so I can... Have this. I'm sorry, I don't really know. So, here's my big one. Oh, wait, where is he going? Where's he going? <laughs> big one! Where are you going? Is there a hog gun somewhere? Okay. Now, I feel the chances... Uh, of getting a piglin to chop these ender pearls is not high. See, this guy just gave me leather. But eventually, 
he will drop it. And sometimes they... But if I go into survival, he's going to attack me. The only way for him to not attack you was to get a piece of gold armor on. That way he won't attack you. So that if I go into survival, he's not going to attack me. So look, he won't attack me. And these mobs are dangerous when you're not wearing gold. So look, if I take off gold, is he going to anger me? Anger me. He's on the... He's on the gold, that's why he's not attacking me. See, look, he attacks me, yeah? But if I put on the gold helmets. So look, he's not gonna attack me, see? See? He doesn't attack me, yeah? He just won't attack me. I have the gold helmet on, see? All right now. Eventually, after trading him for a long time. You will eventually drop a lot of some under pearls. But the chances of yeah, I already told you the chances. The chances are not high of getting under pearls from. See he literally gave me almost all his trades that a piglin can drop. I don't need soul sand. Give me the under pearls. Come on, piglin. You are literally just keep on kill it to me. Anyway, but there's another way. You can so, if you happen to find a guy like, if you happen to find a, a tall black man looking like this, then you can kill him, and there's a chance that he'll drop. That guy didn't drop it. The chance that one of these guys will drop, and those two. That guy didn't drop it either. Dude, this is why looting 3 is very overpowered. There, there we go, see? And it pearl. And then, if you get enough ender, if you, then you'll want at least 12 ender pearls. You'd want at least 12 ender pearls. And now, so, go to your... And now, go to your now go to your crafting thingy. Put your blaze rods in. Turn them into blaze powder. Now put your blaze powder in. Put your ender pearls in. Then right click it. You'll get these eyes of ender. Now this is the part where you have to go back into the overworld. Go back into the overworld. I'm sorry if this is so long. I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't want this to be long. And then you can use a flint and steel to light the portal that I'm going to use. I put the... I'm done. Why did I... Sp oh, come on. Why did I spawn in a cave? Alright, so this is going to happen. You can actually spawn in a cave. And then now I want to get out of this cave really bad. Now we can, now you can just get your find your way out of the cave, and then head on with your adventure. Let's just get out of the. Of course, there's an ocean. Why does there have to be an ocean? Just of course. And then uh, as soon as you make it out, you can throw the eyes of Ender, and then it will lead you to a structure known. Uh, it broke. Is it known uh, a structure known as the stronghold, which holds the end portal room? We'll just skip through the entire. Now it won't. Now it won't be uh, short to find us. So we're just gonna. We're just gonna teleport to it. Now, if we dig straight down, now we can dig straight down and find. Why is it so deep? Why is it so deep, Jesus? Is there nothing there? No, I took it to it. It has to... I would have dug down this star. There it is. There, that's, 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 that's it. There's a struck. So this is the structure known as the... This is the, this is the known structure. And now, so now that you're in it. Now, 
now that you're in it, you can you have to look for a room called the portal room. And I have it's it's not easy to find. I swear to God, it's not easy. But then you will eventually find it. This is what it looks like. Actually, I'm not even joking. And then if you have, you can you need twelve eyes to activate it. So you're gonna need to right click all of them, and then the portal will activate. Then you can jump in. Then you'll have to manually bridge over there. But we're, I'm okay. I'm gonna just fly there. We can just kill that. And then you'll see these long pillars that you have to climb. That you have to build up all of them to get there and then once you make it to the top you'll find this end crystal that does a lot of damage i'm not even joking so you want to do this then you want to do that so you just i'm just gonna fly around and you might find two only two of the end crystals will be caged up and i actually forgot to mention this that if you do find the village in your run you want to collect a lot of beds but Lucas, why would you want to collect beds? Well, apparently, uh, in the end or the nether, beds will actually explode. Don't believe me. All right, so now we just now we have to wait for those dragons to perch, and now we can bed bomb it. This is called a material, a very famous material known as bedrock. It's unbreakable. We're just gonna, you have to, if you do, if you're smarter enough and smart, if you're smarter than me, you can make a bow and arrow and then try to shoot it down. That's what I mean by like it explodes. And then you can just like spam it. Alright, well, I failed. All right, then you just, you saw that, like, you saw that dragon in there? That was called an ender dragon. You have to defeat the ender dragon to beat Minecraft. Well, that's for, for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.